Okay, so here we are. We've got this adorable uh, Toshiba Encore Mini. For those of you who didn't watch the unboxed boxing video, uh, shame on you. What were you doing? Watching funny cat videos or something? Anyway, this is a 7-inch Windows 8.1 tablet. It's running full Windows. Not that RT thing, but actual full Windows. It uh, has 16 gig of storage on the C drive. It's got an Atom processor. It's got one gigabyte of RAM, which none of that's very impressive. But then the big, the big part about it, it was $99. This tablet costs less than $100. It runs full Windows, comes with a license for Office for a year and all that. So I've got this thing set up. So far, all I've done is the unboxing. There's a lot of apps on the start screen there, but that's because I imported my uh, settings from another uh, machine, so it's got all my things. You'll notice in the corners there, they have little download arrows. Uh, that's saying, you know, it put the icon there, but it hasn't actually downloaded the app. It will download it once I start using it. Uh, but I haven't used it yet, so they're just there. But it's nice if I need them. Anyway, the thing that I was going to talk about now was creating a recovery drive. So on devices like this, this thing's got a 16 gig C drive, and it uses some tricks. It uses a thing called Wim Boot to save space, but space is at a premium on these drives. So one of the things that I like to do is create a recovery drive. So if I decide to clear that space of that recovery drive space later on, I have that option, but I can still restore this tablet. Windows 10, the preview's coming out. I'm going to try that eventually. So I want to have a back out uh, plan and creating that recovery drive is the way to do it. Now this box, uh, this, this tablet, because it's so small, they've taken some uh, liberties to keep it small. One of the things that they've done is it has this port right here is a, on the, on the right side is a wind, is an, a, a USB on the go or USB OTG port. And that is a weird combination. It is a USB guest and a USB host at the same time. So it is how you charge the, uh, the, the mini. And the mini comes with a charging cable. And it comes with a cable that looks like it's kind of a fancy, uh, special cable. It's got USB on one end. Right here. Regular USB A male. And then on the other end, it's got this funky looking thing here that's kind of a USB micro, but kind of not. Um, you can use this to charge or hook it up to your computer and, or, or a USB wall warp. Uh, to charge it or hook it up to your computer and mount it or charge it or whatever. But don't get worried about that cable. Any USB micro cable will, will work. Now, one thing when you're setting this, when you're using one of those cables, you probably can't tell very well, but in the bottom of that, you can kind of see the edge connector for the USB. On this one, it's on the bottom. So just make sure you line that up correctly. Uh, and a regular micro USB cable will work just fine. But to hook a device up to that port, again, because that port is a USB host or a USB guest, you need a special cable. And that is this cable right here. So you can see it's got the USB micro on one end, but instead of having the USB A male, it's got a USB female connector. Uh, this is nothing special for the Toshiba tablet. Again, this is just USB OTG. I originally bought one of these three or four years ago. I took up to an Android phone that had USB OTG. This is the same cable I use on my other tablets. It's an industry standard. You can get them anywhere, Amazon, whatever. If I'm smart, I'll put a link to one of these uh, in the, the notes to this video and, and get rich from the Amazon uh, referrals that will undoubtedly come from this. Those cables are about two bucks a piece. Um, so what I'm going to do, when I ordered this tablet, what I did, I also ordered a couple of just USB thumb drives. These happen to be 32 gig drives. I think you know, 16 is probably big enough for the recovery image, maybe even 8. But nothing special, just a regular USB thumb drive. So I'm going to take that drive and I'm going to hook it up to the USB on-the-go cable. And that looks a little, uh, little something like this. And uh, then I'm just going to plug it into the tablet. And it's just going to show up like any regular old USB device. So that just goes in here. So it's connected here. Windows says that it found the drive. It says I can tap to choose what happens to the removable drive. I, uh, since I'm gonna, gonna use this for recovery purposes, I'm not gonna deal with all that. But I could say stuff like, you know, allow auto run, all that. So now to make my recovery drive, I come over here, I swipe in from the charms menu. Actually, I don't need to do that at all. Uh, up, so Windows 8.1 has the start thing. I'm gonna come up here to start. And I'm gonna look for recovery. 
And of course, this searches for everything, so I'm getting documents and all that. Uh, what I want there is create recovery drive. It's the second thing in there. Now, uh, I practiced through this. I walked through this before I recorded it, and that might have had that result bubble up a little higher. If you don't see it in that list, if it's down below, you can hide this keyboard by clicking that and clicking Hide Keyboard, and then you get all the options. But the one that I want is Create Recovery Drive. So that's going to come up. Uh, we're doing scary things to the system. Hit Yes. You'll notice this is a desktop app. I don't know of a Metro or modern app that does this. I looked around in the modern Metro settings and didn't see it. Um, so I just said, hey, we're going to do a thing. It's collecting some stuff. It found that drive, which is D. Kingston. This says it must hold at least 4 gig, so an 8 gig drive would have worked. The other important thing, it says that everything on the drive will be deleted. So if you've got uh, all those pictures from Aunt Gertrude's uh, 87th birthday party on this drive, you're going to want to copy those off before you, you make your disk. And it says, no, really, everything will be deleted. We got it. Do not open and so now it's going to prepare the drive and format the drive and copy things over. Now, the drive that this thing creates is going to kind of have two uh, pieces to it. Number one, it's going to have all of the Windows OS stuff. So you'll be able to do a clean installation of Windows and all the things. Now, this came from the Microsoft Store. It was one of the Microsoft um, signature lines. So there's no crapware. There's no bloatware to install, install, or that would be on that drive, too. And you'll notice if you do this with it, you can make this recovery drive with any Windows tablet, and you'll notice the size varies based on whether it's 64-bit or 32-bit, whether there's crapware, things like that. This one's uh, uh, not very big. So it's copying those files over so that we can use that to do a full recovery if we want to. The other thing that it's doing is it's being made bootable. And so if this device just becomes completely um, unusable, we can actually boot from this device and reinstall Windows that way. And we're going to show how to do that after we uh, get this partition created. Since I don't actually have any paint to, to watch dry, any wet paint to watch dry, we'll have to uh, watch this uh, be created. Though in editing, I'm going to go ahead and probably dub over some Benny Hill or uh, Herb Alpert music to make the, uh, the thing look funnier when I uh, speed it up. You can see this process took so long that even the tablet got bored with it and went to sleep. Not long now. So close I can taste it. It's either that or my coffee. I'm not sure. Okay, so the recovery drive is ready, so we're going to hit finish. Now, much like having backups does you no good if you can't actually restore them, having a recovery drive doesn't do you much good unless you can actually recover. So let's look a little bit at what your options are. All right, so here we are at the start, uh, start screen. We can swipe in here and go to settings, uh, change PC settings. We have a whole tab dedicated over here to update and recovery. So obviously updates is Windows updates, and we want to do those. That's what keeps the bad guys out. But here we have recovery, and we've kind of got three options here. Um, one of them is refresh the PC without affecting your files, and that means just kind of uh, go through, replace window, some of the Windows system files, but don't lose anything. Uh, you know, your documents, your pictures, and stuff that you created, all those uh, pictures, funny pictures of your cat, that kind of stuff. The second option is remove everything and reinstall Windows, and that resets it back to its factory settings, uh, just you know, like, like it just came out of the box. And both of those require that recovery partition. Right now I'm going to leave it in place. I've made the recovery drive, but there is actually a partition, and I'll show it here in a minute, that has all that stuff, and that's where Windows is going to get that. 
The reason that I made the recovery drive is in case I want to delete that partition and get that three or four gig of drive space back. And again, this, this machine's got a small drive, so that's, uh, that's important. The final option is an important one. So we've talked about how this thing can, uh, this drive that I've created now, is a bootable drive, but how do we boot to it? We don't have a keyboard. We can't hit F12 or delete or whatever to bring up the BIOS menu. This advanced uh, startup is how we do that. And if I hit that Restart Now button, which I'm, well, what the heck, let's just do it. Uh, if I hit that Restart Now button, live demos are so... Uh, nerve-wracking. It's going to come up with a menu and it's going to give us some options on what our uh, restart options are. So now the box is kind of restarted and it says, uh, what do you want to do? Do you want to just continue and boot into Windows 8.1? Do you want to boot off of a device, which is what we want to do? Uh, so if I click that one, it will ask me and I'll be on the option of booting off of this recovery drive. Um, troubleshoot, and that's uh, giving me the chance to reset my PC, things like that, or just turn it off. So if I use a device... And then I get to pick which device, so you can see a CD-ROM drive. I would love to see how that works, but I don't have a CD-ROM drive attached, so that just doesn't work. Uh, network device, removable device, so we would do that. Um, nice reflection in the black screen there. Glad I'm wearing a shirt. Um, and so now the tablet's going to reboot, but instead of booting to the internal 16-gig uh, drive, it's going to boot to the external 32 gig USB drive and then give us the options of doing recovery. If Windows is completely messed up, you can also trigger this boot menu uh, from hardware keys. And I haven't looked, I should have done that before I recorded this video, but on my other tablets, it's things like if you hold down the volume down button while the PC is booting, you get a recovery screen. Um, so you can do that in case Windows is just completely messed up. So right now, uh, Windows is booting off of the USB drive, which is much slower than its internal uh, solid-state drive. So here we have it, and we can choose our keyboard layout, and I'm not going to go through the whole thing, but this would give us the option of recovering Windows completely off of this USB drive that we booted. So I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. I uh, hope you create recovery disks, lots of them. USB drives are cheap these days, but I hope you never actually have to use one. Thanks.